wake up. Wake up, sleepyhead. Wakey, wakey. We have an adventure to go on. It's time for an adventure. Wake up. <laughs> Are you kids ever sleepy and you don't want to wake up? I know how that is. Yep. So does Axel. Hey Axel, we have an epic adventure to go on. He doesn't want to go on an epic adventure. He will though, you'll see. So do you want to show the kids your plane that you made out of Legos? The batteries are charged all the way. Is it green? Me and Axel, we made a Lego plane. <laughs> and then we got some motors from a robot, and we put the propellers, the motors on the propellers. Look at that. It's a car plane. <laughs> and then we got the batteries, uh, some rechargeable batteries. We charged them up. Now we're going to test it out. All right, kids, I'm going to put the batteries in, okay? Let's see if they spin. All right. What? Dude, look. Look, it works. Go that way. Oh, up, straight up. No. Oh, this way. Down. He's flying upside down. No, back. No. You show me here. Uh-oh, the batteries are dying. Dude, they died already. What? We had a lot of fun making this plane. We just put some tape on here, right? But it's built out of Legos. You kids like Legos? We just started playing with Legos just now. Some of those kids, Bubba, they've probably been playing with Legos for years. We just started, right? Uh -huh. Yep, are they fun? Uh -huh. Oh yeah. Hey, do you want to go get some Legos today? We're going to buy them by the pound for really cheap. We're going to spend like 30 bucks and get a big deal of Legos so we can use, we can show the kids tons of cool things to build. Wait, is a pattern where you put dogs that you don't <laughs> eat anymore? It's a pound for short. It's an impound is what it's really called. And yes, they impound the dogs. Whenever they're stray or they're hurting people, maybe they have to impound them. Are you ready to go on an epic adventure? Uh, yeah, I'm going to do the Om Nom first. You want to do the Om Nom show first? Uh-huh. Well, um, you know what? Uh -huh. Um, We can't do that show without Mommy. Mommy has to help us. Because she has to hold the camera while we cut the rope. But you know what? Uh -huh. We can do Get Out Alive. Will we show the kids how to get out alive? How to pretend. Now get out alive is what I know, but we're going to pretend like we have our own Get Out Alive show. <laughs> Would that be epic? Hey, the kids can't see us. Peekaboo! <laughs> That's a silly game we played when we were little. When you were little, right? <laughs> oh, your breath is stinky. Woo-wee! <laughs> Tell me a secret. Komodo dragons. <gasps> kids! We watched a show about Komodo dragons yesterday. No, Do you want to no, pretend we're... like pretend like we're running away from Komodo dragons? No, we're Komodo. We're dragons. Komodo dragons. Okay, let's do it. Remember that lizard that caught that snake? Yes, that was a monitor lizard. Uh -huh. um, that was a kin in the same family as Komodo dragon. A Komodo dragon is a monitor lizard. It's big. It's not really a dragon. It doesn't breathe fire or anything like that. It's just a. Uh, uh, it's a monitor lizard that's the biggest lizard that is alive on the earth today. You ready to pretend like we're monitor it's the, lizards? It's the biggest lizard in the whole world. Yeah, that's so true. But they only live in the desert, right? Uh, no, they live on a special island somewhere. Um, I actually don't know where that is. <laughs> Forgot. <coughs> hey, you ready to go outside and pretend we're Komodo dragons? Oh, First, yeah. if I get my shirt on, can you get my shirt on? Oh, yeah. We're going to get dressed. We'll see you kids outside, all right? Come on. We're pretending like we're Komodo dragons. <gasps> hey, come on. 
Let's go catch us some lunch, okay? I'm hungry, aren't you? I smell some rotten food. You do? Yeah, <gasps> and Come they on. even eat rotten food. They do. You're right, kids. Komodo dragons, we found out they eat rotten food. They eat all kinds of food. They can eat just about anything. They're really intense. Come on, let's they go get it. Hey, so hey. Poisonous snake. How do you smell it? With your... What? Tongue. Yeah, kids, Komodo dragons, they can smell with their tongues. Isn't that crazy? They stick it out like this. Let me see your tongue. Yeah. And hey, you remember how they walk like this? They walk like this. Like that. With their arms out to the side. They're pretty cool looking. Yeah, there you go. Oh, there it is. There it is, right over there. Come on. Let's go get it. Wow, that must have gotten hit by something. Mm. Oh wow, what is it? It's uh it's a yeah. deer. No. What is it's it? It's an elk. It's an elk. What? It's a dead elk. Oh, come on. You know. Mm, they can't chew their food, can they? They have to rip it up. So they just have to get their teeth in. Uh-huh. And shake it, their head around. It. There you go. Let me see it. Hey, let's bring this back to our lair so no other animals yeah. try to eat it. Come on. They're super powerful. They can drag large animals back to their lairs. Down here. Ready? Jump. Come on, kids. Oh, nice. Come on, now we can eat it. Oh, oh, over here, okay. Over here, come on. Mm. This is a delicious rotting elk. <laughs> is that so kind of gross? Did you know that they can eat like 80% of their body weight? How much do you weigh? Not more than a Komodo dragon. Nope, nope, not more than a grown one. But you weigh about 40 pounds. That means you would have to eat about... 35 pounds. Holy guacamole. Do you think you could eat 35 pounds? No. You'd have, it, you'd have to eat, like, you'd eat Hiroto. Axel's little cousin named Hiroto, he's about 35 pounds. You would have to eat Hiroto. That much. What? Dude, is that crazy? Mm -hmm. And I would have to eat, like, two and a half of you. Wow. I don't even think I could eat that much. They're pretty cool, aren't they? Uh -huh. That's pretty intense. I bet they don't need to eat for a long time Let's after that. Let's go find some more food and drag it back in. And oh, okay. Like yeah. Maybe yeah, kids, like we're going to leave really this here and save snake. it for later. Maybe a real Oh, a snake. Come on, let's go eat a snake. Does that look like lettuce? Oh, lettuce. Yeah, I wonder if they eat lettuce. Nah, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think Komodo dragons eat lettuce. I don't think that's lettuce. I don't think lettuce. so either. I think they only eat meat. But you know what? You know what? I don't think that's Did you, lettuce. Do you know something else that Komodo dragons do? What? Come here. I'm going to show you. They've never found any lizards that do things like this. Or, or reptiles for that matter. But come on over here. Let me show you what they do. They do something really interesting. They play. They play. Is that crazy or what? Yes, kids, scientists have found while studying these Komodo dragons that they actually have been known to play with each other. That's something that no other reptiles have ever been known to do, really. So how do you think a Komodo but, dragon would play? But guess what? Maybe, maybe... A, a parrot is the only bird or only pet in the uh -huh. whole wide world that can talk. Oh, that's true. You know, I don't know if that's completely true. We'll it's have to look it up. It's but, like, but I think that parrots... It's like a parrot. Like uh, birds, macaw, I think, is one of the ones that could do it. They could be like, hello, hello, Axel. Hello, Axel. Or what about, hello, kids. Axel, what a cracker. How would a Komodo dragon play? Maybe he would... Oh, I know what we'll do. I know, here. We'll catch a snake and then we'll play catch with the snake. Yeah! Okay. We'll, we'll play it with our mouth. We'll throw it like hop, and then you catch it with your mouth, okay? Okay, where's the snake? Did you find one? No, where's I think snake? I see 
dim. Oh, let me see. Let me see. Right? Oh, there it is. Ooh, get it. It was right in there. Oh, dig it out. I got it off. Ah. Get it out. You got it? Oh, it bit me. Ow, this snake what? bit me. That's okay, though, because Komodo dragons, they're immune. Immune Daddy. to snake venom. Throw it to me. Throw it with your neck. Ah. I got it. Ready? Go on. Go out there. I'm going to throw it really far. You ready, kids? Ready? I'm going to throw it. Yeah. You got it? Sweet. Dude, Komodo dragons can play, too. Is that epic? I got it. Oh. <laughs> here, here, here. Oh. You throw it, and I'm going to run all the way over there and get it. Are you ready? Uh -huh. Throw it. Throw it far. <laughs> oh, I caught it. <laughs> what will we call this? We tackle each other. Oh, yeah. We're going to tackle each other. Come on. We're Komodo Dragons. <laughs> 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 How about I tickle you with <laughs> Tomorrow Dragon Tickle Time? We'll call it Tickle Dragon. <laughs> How about we play tag? Komodo Dragon Tag. Ready? All right, ready? Tag! tag. Okay, now I'm going to tag you. Ready? You got to take it. Get away. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Kids, Axel's gonna take you. You guys are gonna hide, and I'm gonna find you guys, okay? But you're a Komodo dragon, okay? Don't yeah. look that way. Okay, alright, I'm gonna close my eyes. I'm gonna count to ten, okay? No, oh, twenty. Right. Dragon. Whew, it's tiring now, isn't it? All right, kids. Now we got our Komodo dragon picnic. Oh, yeah. We have some fresh salmon that we got here. Uh huh. And radishes. Mm hmm. And we got radishes. Mm hmm. Perfect meal for a Komodo dragon, right? Mmm. <laughs> mm. That's good. Mmm. This salmon isn't even cooked. That's how a Komodo dragon would eat it. Mm-hmm. Isn't that awesome? And we're Komodo dragons, and especially we don't like that cooked very much. Mm -mm. I'm sure the Komodo dragon would eat it cooked. I'm sure they would, but they probably prefer to eat it raw. I think they eat it raw because that tastes really good raw instead of cooked. Yeah, they probably prefer the taste of it raw because that's what they're used to eating genetically over, over many 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 years <clears throat> they have grown to like the taste of raw meat. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna make a radish and salmon sandwich. That look good? Uh -huh. mm. Mmm. What are you gonna, I'm gonna make? Make a big one. <laughs> let me see. Let me see. This is what? That is one big sandwich. Mmm. <laughs> hey, that radish has a tail. <laughs> it's the root. It looks like the maybe this was a mouse, and that's the tail of the mouse. Uh -huh. <laughs> mm. I'm holding the tail and I'm gonna eat it raw. Oh, what? Mmm, that's one delicious mouse. <laughs> the mice on the show, did they eat? I mean, the Komodo dragons on the show, they ate mice, right? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Alright, kids. Well, we're gonna hear. We're gonna take a nap in our Komodo dragon den so we can rest up for another Komodo dragon adventure. Alright. Kids, you guys get out. Have your own adventure. And I use your imagination. Something. 
Oh, he's, he, Axel smells something. But pretend like you're an animal. Do something with your imagination. All you need is your imagination, kids. It's so much fun. We'll see you later. Bye. This is my tongue. That's your tongue? Mm -hmm. Okay, say goodbye with it. Bye. <laughs> oh, there you go. Wave. Wave your tongue goodbye. Bye, kids. We'll see you later.